Best part of waking up is chopping your fucking top. Hey guys, welcome on back to Crosshair Garage. So, today, I, you know what? I don't know what we're doing. No clue. I do know that I have this mess going on here. I brought the willies back inside. I just kind of coasted it in on these volleys. I still got this whole mess over here. I was doing a... I was doing a video that I thought you guys would enjoy. It turned out to be like three minutes long, so I cut it. I will throw this joke in though. There, I thought this joke was funny. So in this video, we're gonna be getting into a little mathematicians, right? Nothing big, nothing big. Just your basic fractions, divisions, ad additions, subtractions, that sort of thing, all right? We're not gonna be dealing with any like pie or anything like that. My bad. That was a lot of work to set that joke up. <laughs> but there, there was a lot of mathematication going on, as you can see. And it really wasn't that interesting. Like I say, it was, turned out to be like a, I, I think it was total like five minute video. So I just ditched it. Over here on this side of the shop, I've got, I picked up today to see if I could save them. I picked up some Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver. So I've got that kind of hanging out over the slop sink there. I sprayed down one of them. I would take it outside and spray it down, but then piss and we'll walk over and lick it and probably die. And I don't want that. I want piss to live. What am I gonna do about this, guys? So what I need to do is I need to get all this cleaned up real quick. And I want to get the frame in a little fur, get the body in a little further, um, position how I want it, and I'm going to get everything leveled out here on the ground for the next steps that we're getting into on this bad boy. I will have a sponsored video coming out. Sorry about that. Again, Daddy's trying to get paid here. You know what I'm saying? Daddy needs some some of this. All right, because well. The world's expensive nowadays, so, you know, I'm sorry if I, you know, veer off track with the occasional paid video sponsorship program, whatever, you know what I'm saying. This company seems really cool. A lot cooler than the last one that I did any paid work with. I didn't like working with them at all. They wanted so much creative control over everything, and I just, I'm not about that, you know, so. Yeah, anyway, um, let me get this cleaned up, and we'll, we'll come back once it's, uh, you know, things are better than this. All right, so this handle's not wanting to turn very well, so let's get out some of the old croil oil. I mean, this stuff is just amazing. Little bit will do you. So now my, my things are popping out here to lock it. So if you've been watching the videos, you know that my plan is to take a couple inches out of this top. So I've checked everything and all of the, all the places I need to cut, except for back here with this slope, it, it, it all has the same measurement from top to bottom, pretty much. Um, except for, you know, obviously where it fires down here, but we want to stay away from that anyway. So we can take it right out of the center, any place we want. Back here is going to get a little tricky on us, so let's do a little measuring here. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably, we'll stay away from this edge here where it bends. Can you guys even see what I'm talking about? We're, we're going to stay away from this edge here where it bends. And we're going to try to stay out of this bend here. So that's going to kind of leave us with a two inch right in here. And hopefully we can drop it back down. Now, obviously, we're going to have to, once this drops down, that front, once we cut this and we drop it down, this front is no longer going to line up anymore. So I'm going to have to take a section of the roof out, pull, pull this forward, and then patch in a section. Hopefully it won't be a big section. I don't know what it's gonna be. Hopefully it's no more than an inch. Uh, 
we we got to wait and see on that. I, I haven't chopped a willy, so we'll find out. But it's pretty straightforward. It's you know not as easy as say chopping a Model A or a Model T, but it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So I'm going to start uh you know doing some little. Hopefully I got some. I think I'm going to take two inches out. Hopefully I got some two inch tape here. Uh, I'm, this Pro Gaff. Hopefully it's two inches. It might be three. I don't. I don't know. Let's find out. If I had a measurement, there it is. Okay, so that is 1.89 or 1.88 probably in reality, because you know, hey, everything's you know coming from overseas nowadays. So. Let's uh, start taping some stuff up here. Oh, hi, Piston. What are you doing up there? You don't see Piston up there? Anyway, the main thing that I want to do is when I'm taping this up, I want to make sure that my tape's going straight so that I have a cut line all the way around that I can use as a guide. So when this comes around, I want it to hit right on just like that. So that'll be my two inches out of here. And I'm gonna continue on with this. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do that, but I'll just kind of explain what I'm doing there. Um, but I'm gonna to have to brace up even better than I have now. I wanna to, want to run a brace, but I, I'm wanting to run a brace from here to the other side. I, I know I have these braces in here. They kind of got bent up a little bit um, during the swapping the body back on but i want to so i want to add an additional brace here i have four body mounts that i can put in in the front i want to get those in the front make sure that the body is going to be sitting straight put this brace in here so that i don't have any when i cut the roof i don't want it doing this at all you know i don't want it pancaking on me or or souffleing, you know, when you take a souffle out and you make a bunch of noise and it falls or something like that. I, I don't cook, so I couldn't tell you. But I've heard some sort of rumor about that. That's what I want to do. I want to brace it so it doesn't souffle. All right, all you hot rodders, there's your new term. You don't want your car to souffle. Now, I know this is the point where all the Willys purists out there have probably gone ahead and hit unsubscribe. And I get that. I do. People out there saying, well, you took a good overland and you destroyed it. Or you're about to. But listen, guys. Just hear me out for, for one second. Actually, more like 10 seconds. I've got a 1962 Willys that has none of the original running gear. It's on airbags. It's, you know, it's pretty beat. I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty beat. I got it for... You know, next to nothing. So we got no money into this thing, really. And I, I do. I, I love Willie Sheeps. I love them. They're awesome. But for what I want to do, I want this thing low, and I need some height out of this roof for it to look right. I just do. I'm only taking 1.88 inches. That's it. 1.88. That's it. That's all I'm taking. So I hope you guys stick around and see how this turns out. You know, I may fail. It may turn out like shit. This may wind up in the scrapyard because I mess it up, you know? We'll find out. Anyway, I'm going to get to working on that brace over there and I'll come back to you. All right guys, so I got this, uh, you know, that's two by two square tubing. You know, I had to weld some sections together to get it to fit, but I think that'll do the job as far as preventing it from souffleing like we were talking about. Um, still really happy with this. Um, but I, I've got everything taped off for our cuts all the way around. And um, at this point, I want to get some body mounts in, but I'm going to need a little bit of help because they're, they're, they're being a little finicky. I tried to do it by myself, wound up knocking it off the jack stands. It just didn't work out. So I'm going to wait until I got somebody over here, probably JB more than likely, you know. He's kind of my go-to when it comes to these things. Um, so did I just break another tripod? Anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, okay. it'll be like half a second. We'll be back on it. Best part of waking up is chopping your fucking top. So I don't know. I started this video like before the holidays. I don't know where I'm at now. I don't know what's on camera and what's not on camera. 
so I'm jumping into it like it's brand new video. I took weeks, days, planning this out. And I think we're ready to chop, except for I lost my tape because I want to put a line across the roof where I'm going to slice right down the center of the roof. Not this way, but this way. <sighs> I don't know how I lose everything. Probably because my garage is a mess. I mean, I got five projects going on that are all involved around the willies. They're all revolving around the willies. The willies is my world right now. This is it. I did find my really cool funnel, so now we can add uh, gear oil to the rear end. But I didn't find my tape. Where's my tape? I did find some tape upstairs. It's not what I'd prefer to use, but we're gonna use it. So the problem here is gonna be is when I cut all this, when I bring this down, this is no longer gonna line up. I'm gonna have to cut this, move this forward, put a piece of metal through here, rebuild all this. Not a big deal. It is what it is. And as long as my line's straight, that's all I care about. I don't, you know, it's already not straight. Uh, it's good tape measure. So I want to run it between these ridges, somewhere between them, and that's 10 inches. So let's run it right at five inches. Just gonna draw me out some lines all the way across. should do it let's see let me check the other side because it's kind of got a when it comes back over here kind of rolls back i want to make sure it's doing the same on the other side i want it to be the same as long as it's the same from side to side i'm fine with it and yes as you can see when this tape comes back it's rolling you know it's just following that body line and rolling back a little bit which is fine. I'm good. I'm good with that. I'm good. We can do that. So I got my line here where I'm going to cut. Doesn't matter. Either side of that line doesn't matter. I ain't going to lie to you guys. I'm nervous here. Now, if you're chopping a top and you're not nervous, there's something wrong. You're either Gene Winfield or there's something wrong with you. So let me double check all my straps, everything, and then we'll get to, uh, we'll get out some slicing dice. So I got my straps on here where it's got some pressure, but it's not a lot of pressure. Because as I cut, I don't want it, I don't want the pressure on this to start pulling things up. I just want it to stay where it's at. And then we'll come through, we're gonna make this cut on top to free the top up. And then we're gonna make this lower cut. Make sense to you? And then the plan is, is to try to lower the straps to get these two to line back up. Obviously, it's gonna take a little bit of tweaking, stuff like that, but let's get to it. Cuts aren't perfect, it is what it is. I had to break out the sawzall for some of the inner structure that I wasn't able to get to with the, uh, the old cutoff wheel. I'm not a big fan of the sawzall because I can't cut straight to save my life with the sawzall. But I did find that if I make this outside cut um, with, the, uh, with the whiz wheel, 
and then go the rest of the way through with the sawzall. Works out pretty easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bottom cut out and we'll see what we're looking like. Well, I, I don't know what's gonna, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Well guys, this is that point of no return, you know? If you're all hanging out there in TV land and you're going, oh, well that didn't seem too hard. Shit, the hard part ain't even begun yet. I gotta make this look factory. I can't send a shitty chop out into the world, now can I? So, next I'm going to, uh, Man, I really wish I had a help, helping hand here. That'd be nice. JB, I'd like to have a helping hand here. That when I lower this, you can. Anyway, he's not here. He's out cutting trees or something. Let's see what I can do. All right guys, so I need to come through here, um, see these edges. I need to get rid of those to get it to sit down properly. Um, I also need to come back here. I don't know if you guys can see down in there, but I've got mice houses. But yeah, so I need to do that. So that when I bring this down, it's all gonna sit flush and level and I need to you know, make, make sure that we can, you know, there's spots I need to take a hammer to, like right here, where this body seam is, start to come apart, right there. Anyway, so I'm going to get busy on that, but you guys don't need to watch that, y'all be bored. I try to make my content somewhat interesting. Now, th this past month, I realized it's the holidays and everything, and that's why I haven't really put out a video outside of the sponsored one that I did. Thanks for watching that, really, I appreciate it. But everybody's putting out these videos nowadays, and it's like, oh, look at all the stuff I have to work on, and I have this going on, and I have this going on, and it's an hour of them talking about what they got to do, and they're not doing any damn work. I don't want to watch it. That's why you haven't gotten a video in a while. All right, so, I caught my car on fire. Oh, where it's coming from. Here. Dumbass. Down there. Tell me how I started a fire up there. I don't know if this thing works. That would be enough. 
Where the hell is it coming from? Jesus, that's what you need on a 33 day. So anyway guys, obviously I'm a genius. What I gotta do now is I gotta make sure that my cuts are correct all the way around before I do anything else. I don't want one side to be a quarter inch off from the other side, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna take a tape measure, I'm gonna do some measuring. All right guys, so this is where we're at. I've got this lined up back here, got some welds on it. Obviously still need some work both sides over here Getting this tacked up. I need to get this lined up a little bit better. It's kind of panels kicking out a little bit on me So now let's see if you can notice That we are a little bit off here Same goes back here So I lined that section up So now I'm gonna have to come through somewhere probably around here with a stink bug and I'm going to have to cut the roof again, going across, move this section forward. Now if we come up here, I had to, obviously, my section is cut into, this roof this section is cut into two separate pieces, and then cut here as well. We'll get all this lined up. Um, this obviously, I got a couple tacks on it, it needs to drop down so that this fits up, and I gotta, you know, square the roof lines up, but I'm gonna be taking this center section out for a little while. But unfortunately, here's the big problem, is it's late Sunday, and I'm on call next week at work. <laughs> I gotta clean the garage, that's a fact. I'm on call next week at work. That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm getting at. Which means, as you know, on my on-call weeks, I really don't get to mess with this much. Uh, you know, I, I prepare myself to be called out at any time. That being said, this is obviously gonna be a two part to this video. Now, probably gonna be three parts in reality because if you look at this roof section here, you can see I got some rust happening right along here. I haven't really seen much rust outside of that. It all seems to be up on this front section. It looks like they gooed up a bunch. Well, the rust comes to about there. Um, I'm not sure. They, they put a lot of this like seam sealer or something on here, as you can see. Right, let me get something here. As you, you can see, they, they put a lot of that seam sealer on there. So probably what I'm going to do over the next week is I'm probably going to take this section back out. I'm going to knock these two, this panel and the other panel, I'm just going to knock them down to bare metal and fix any rust because it looks like the majority of the rust collected on that front drip rail. I really can't tell a huge difference though. Uh, you know, can, can you guys tell that this thing has been chopped two inches? I, I don't know. I mean, Willie's guys, let me know what you think. But if I chopped it down two inches and I think it looks good, but it's not, it doesn't look like it's been chopped to me, like it's, it's not a drastic chop, then I think I did the right thing, if that makes sense to you. Then I feel like it needed that. So, I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm just rambling now. I'll kick you out a video here soon and we'll finish up the uh, the thingamabob, the, the top. All right, so uh, anyway, uh, y'all stay awesome. Love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.